Welcome back to Commonwealth of Decay. So, uh, we're continuing from where we left off last time. And, um, we are in the freeway overpass just above Corvega. And... It is 3 p.m. Okay, so we, uh, somebody's still aware of our presence up here. Oh, it looks like someone Took out the uh, machine gun. Okay. And uh, what about up here? Any? Yeah, there's a few up here. All right, so let's um, head back to sanctuary. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, and we cleared out these hunters. Oh, I'm in caution. Somebody. Somebody is aware of me. Or maybe it's the zombies up there. Pretty foggy. Let's, um, let's go ahead and tippy-toe. Oh, now I'm in danger. Danger from who? Who or whom has me in danger? I don't like them growling at me. Hold on. Where's my depressed? I don't want to be ringing the dinner bell. Okay. Are you guys done? I think they are. Slipping into caution. I do not have much in the way of ammo. And I also do not have much in the way of patience. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and eat something. Um, where is my food? Okay, and some pure five water. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm back into hidden, but they are aware of my presence. I went ahead and moved the load order for um, for these uh, for, for the uh, zombie skin, but now they're still all looking like pharaohs. And okay, I'm going to have to, where am I supposed to be going now? Open the lieutenant's, oh, inside here is uh, Project X uh, stash. Um, do not have enough ammo or food, and it is getting late, so you know everybody inside Corvega is going to be zombified, so let's, um, let's not right now, and, uh, then we can do this tomorrow. Okay. Let's get back up on the road. Okay. I probably only have about two clips of 10 millimeter ammo, which is my my main weapon, my daily my day to day. And uh, definitely gonna want more. Definitely want more before I go back into Cor Vega. Okay, it's getting dark, and and it's um, and it's foggy, so it's really cutting back on my. Should I risk stopping? I, um, no. They're not gonna help me fight any zombies. Okay, so okay, we're going to make a run for it. All of the old zombies that I've killed are are still, you know, with not looking like pharaohs. 
But um, the new ones were looking all feral. Okay, I don't know. Yes, I know I've leveled up. I do not know if uh, Red Rocket is a safe spot. We're going to have to just trust it. Oh, let's pick up some wild meat fruit. A little wild gore. Yeah, we could always use more gores. All red market. Okay, just my machine gun. Okay, we definitely need to have more machine guns here. something pick him up and carry him to the other side of the bridge or just within the just within the uh, building parameters and then I'm going to get some fertilizer and some skin and bones from him Do the same with uh, the drifter and that dog. Okay. Let's grab this drifter. Move him around like a rag doll. starting to get late so I want to get get in under cover and let's get this dog what do you mean this item is too heavy to pick up Zombie, I get bones, leather, and fertilizer. Mr. Drifter, I get bone, bones and fertilizer. Okay. Nice. Okay. And... Now we... Go back into our... Domiciles. What time is it, anyhow? It's 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can cook up anything, because I know we're running low on food. Oh! Here I am in my dress the whole time. Um, okay, so I could purify carrots, corn, good melon, mute fruit, raised grain. But I've taken already lead belly, so what good is that, you know? 
I, I already don't take any radiation from them. Or minimal. Do I have no meats to cook? No. And I'm assuming no soups. Can I make roasted myler meat? And so why would this be different? Oh, because you are carrots, gourd, and mute, mute, mute fruit. How does that make roasted myler? That is odd. Um, uh, I can make it. I don't want to make any uh, coffee. I want to make a cup of joe. Okay. I gotta remember to put my correct clothes on. So, army helmet, oiled right leg, combat chest piece, leather left leg. Um, so the Overseer glasses give me 10 defense, 10 cold, and 10 radiation. And the shades, like picked up there by Abernathy Farm, 25 defense, 10 poison, 10 fire, and 10 of everything else. It's about 80 of radiation, but well, that's a good, let's, let's put that on. Um... So now my defense is 95, okay. Do I have a right leg? Um, leather left leg. Greater left leg, which one is better? Uh, two, two, and ways three. Two, five, and ways two. Okay. Okay. Fashion fashion glasses gives me one charisma. My dress will give me two. And. The hat will give me another one. So that right there is a charisma of four. All right, that should make prices a little bit better. Okay. Um. Let's uh, go ahead and hit the sack. What is my disease again? Insomnia. Yeah, so I need to sleep more. Um, so that's going to be 8.51 a.m. 7.51 a.m. 6.51 a.m. That should do. Oh, you bastard. Um, I need to make... I need to make some ammo. Oh, I completely forgot about that. So, can I make 10 millimeter? Um, short cases. So, let's make some casings. Okay, so just take steel. Uh, that's 50. Uh, I'm sorry, 25 and 25. That's 75. And 
That should be a hundred. Okay. Twenty five, fifty, seventy five. Oh. I'm short gunpowder. Um, <laughs> there. That gives me a hundred rounds. Let's go ahead and move all our junk. Let's move over some items that we're not going to be using anymore. Um, we can move the overseer glasses. Okay, so let's store that. Store that. So we'll keep the hat, the militia hat, the green dress, and the fashionable glasses. So when we're trading, we get better prices. <laughs> Um, move some blood leaf over, brain fungus, some gourds, uh, hub flower, um, move an orange over. Tarberries, petal flowers, thristle. Uh, I don't know what that's made with or what that will do. Um, what else? What else? Fusion cells. Do I have any fusion? No, I don't. So let's go and move that over. Can move these 45 rounds over. Real uh, 38, and some bolts. And some shotgun shells, just in case I get in trouble, I need to start blasting my way out. Um. This pipe wrench does a damage of 15, and the machete does, so we can move that over. I wonder if I could, um, so why do I have this one? The, the silenced one is the one I'm supposed to be. Supposed to be using. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to that. Favorite kit. Uh, short compact shotgun. Let's go ahead and add that there. The python. What time is it? I know I woke up a little bit early. Okay, so it's three in the morning. Wow, it don't look so dark. You get a drink of water. Let 
me see if I cannot do something for this shotgun. What do I need for this? Gunnet rank three. And one more adhesive. Okay. Tell you what. I have some points. Can I pick up Gundam Rank 3? No, that's till 25. Dang. Um, I can pick up Lone Wanderer number 2. Lead Belly, I can pick that up as well. So I take no radiation from eating or drinking. But if I drink dirty water, I still have a chance of getting like parasites. And I could also pick up Gunslinger. Hmm, there's so many that I feel that we need. I know we've been trying, yeah, we, we got Chemist. I don't know if Chemist 2 is going to be a viable, something we could use right now, right now. Um, Scrapper would be a good, um, good thing to have. Especially with limited resources. Okay. Um, can't take. All right. I'll tell you what. Um, let's take um. Thirty percent less damage, and increase my carry boy by one hundred. And. I'm really tempted to take Lead Belly. But I also would like to take Medic. So, Stembacks restore 40% of lost health, and Red right Away removes 40% of radiation. Um, but we also get to get Sneak because we are loud and zombies hear us and they just come a running um let's do with let's go with more damage with our handgun okay I just want to trade a few things. Let him get up. Go ahead. Take your bottle caps. Ha. And then I'm going to take your bottle caps and your bed. So, uh, 340, that's four, five, six. So an additional three more hours. And um, let's go ahead and eat something. And what we want to do, let's go ahead and eat this mute fruit. Okay, so, um, oh, <coughs> what we should start doing, am, am I available to take it yet? No, local leader. So we need to increase our charisma one more, take a local leader so that we could start connecting the settlements and, um, share resources. 
Okay, so that works. I am wondering. In the base game, once you have enough settlements, uh, then uh, Preston will say, hey, let's go take the castle. Then you go, you take the castle, you wait a couple of days, and then uh, Rodney, I think that's her name, she comes, she takes you through the back alleyway or the subterranean secret passages, you kill a robot, and then you get the, um, then you get the schematics to build artillery. I am wondering if that is going to be the same or is it open? Um, so basically, how do I get my hands on the artillery? I want to hear boom, boom, boom. Um, so that is for a later date because the castle is way 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 over here so that is gonna be for a much later time i can jump into the railroad hq so that seems to be open um also nuga world and did I also see? Yeah. Far Harbor is, they're all open, so you don't need to go through that particular quest line in order to open up those DLCs. But we are, we are a long, long way to going to any of the DLCs. I mean, there's already a ton of of um, zombies, I guess we might say, there in Nuka World. And then when you incorporate um, all of the people that are supposed to be, that have been transformed into zombies, um, all of the raiders in that, there is going to be a metric ton of zombies there. And you need to take a lot of ammo. Um, Sunshine Tidings is uh, like right here as well. So that is going to be... That's going to be all... Uh, a mess as well although it might not be because there there's only in the base game two maybe four zombies and the rest are are um cockroaches so hmm that might that might be something to uh investigate but it's also a huge landmass, and trying to guard it would be a nightmare. It's just wide open, and that's the same with um, that's the same with uh, the drive-in. It's a huge open place, but uh, let's worry about that for another time. Right now, um, we want to open Sarge's stash. I think that's what it is. The lieutenant stash, which is here. Now, um, let's see what uh, the help menu tells us. Uh, where is the project? Do, do I have a... 
There we go. Project readme notes. So this kind of helps you with uh, this with uh, the quest. So quest guide. Um, Fallout's little secret. So I'm assuming it's the raider stash because. Yeah, so the quest starts inside Corvega assembly plant in the room next to Jared. Uh, the uh, apparent ladder here. The first note is found in a safe in that room. Ugh. Um, so we got to pick locks and The stash key is found in the over overlooking freeway in the half destroyed building with a walkway leading into it. Um That seems like a lot. What about um Old World Secrets, I think uh, that's the one with the... Yeah, so this is like helping you to build or find schematics to build a uh, different um, schematics, different items. So I think we found the ammunition one, something like that. So the second part is found on the broken freeway in the Lexington near Corvea, Corvega. Uh, there's uh, two notes and set on a unique armor. Oh. I didn't pick up any armor. Next to each other or notes. I didn't pick any up. I didn't pick up any armor or notes. Would it be worth investigating? What is faded memories? Oh, I guess you can't. This is just a leading quest to get you started. Okay. Ain't easy being a raider. Oh, satellite station Olivia. In the lower room with the double doors. So where you you have to get the key for the intelligence room. One with the red roach swarm. Yeah. Uh, the note is in the flat toolbox waiting to be found. The second part of this is found in a shack outside the wicked shipping fleet. Oh, that's another. So, whew, there is a lot to be done with that. Um,. Time sit to time stand still while I was yeah. So I have some ammo. Um let's just uh drink some water to lower our um fuel. Not our fuel, um, to lower our, our, uh, water. Okay, hey, don't you have some... You eat. It's as simple as that. Don't you have some corn to be picking?
Oh, you know what? I should probably take some stuff to build up uh, the turrets for um, Red Rocket. We need to, you know, get uh, get that that one secured. So let's go to our junk. Um, so we need circuits, gears, oil, and steel. Um, let me see. What do I need for a turret? Steel, circuitry, gears, and oil. Yeah. Okay. Gears and steel. Oil. I think I took all the steel, so I better start taking me some steel too. Some circuitry. and steel um what else what else come on and oil steel and oil gears just gonna take uh, a lot build up a few and then bring back the rest <laughs> better take some some steel too because I got a feeling I took all of the steel I cleared it out Okay, I think that might be enough. Take some, just a wee bit more steel. Okay. Alright, so this, uh, this episode might be a little bit more building than, um, than some of you like some people like the building some people don't um we need to try and keep a equal um equal mix i guess okay Just in case, you know, more zombies have reappeared here, then I don't know what the spawn, what the responding time limit is. I 
think it's going to be safe to build up on the roof. So let's go ahead and some wood am I okay to jump to this about I build a little no that's not gonna do Um, oh, okay, I'll tell you what. Move this here. Move this here. Go to floors. Go ahead and build one of these. And then can we... Just do that. Oops. Scrap this and then build another. Oh, I don't have enough wood. Gather some more wood. Go. Okay, there we go here. Let's go ahead and store this. Just in case we get some a roaming horde or something. They don't just sneak up on me while I'm building. Alright, we're gonna go with just the regular guns for now because um So if we have a few of them, they're going to do some real damage. 
Okay, so put one here in this corner. And put one here in that corner. And um, let's see. So that those three are going to cover the road, right? So if anybody's walking up the road, these guys are going to take care of that. Uh, any of them are. Uh, Come on over here, and I think there may be a spawn point over there by the tower. There. Okay. Can we build anything else? Oh, there's a shotgun turret, but it, it requires aluminum and power. That requires power. A heavy laser turret. Yeah, that would be nice. But it requires science of four and power. Ooh, and a missile turret. That requires gun net three and power. I think these little ones are gonna do for now. Um, okay, so. Do I want to build everybody's housing? up here so that they are safe that way I could start having settlers come here or I could just use this as a you know a safety but now I'm thinking yeah, these are gun these guns are gonna be useful um, for distance. But then once they get in um, once they get in under the canopy here, they are gonna be safe. Because the can the guns can't shoot down. Um, I should probably move that one I have there and move him down there. Okay. I think that that would be a smart, uh, a smart move. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump. this you yeah, know this one did kind of save my behind a few times okay can I put them on the table here table and um, put it here let's uh, look at furnishings tables um, I want 
something that's going to be there. Hopefully I have enough for another turret. I do. Okay. Can we set them here on top of this table? Come on. No, he wants to... He wants to sit on the floor. Keep hearing sounds, and I'm thinking somebody's somebody's approaching. Um. Okay, so that he doesn't want to fit in this. What if I... Set him there. Let's grab that. Find another... Table that it, it wants to sit on. Pool table. What about this table? refuses to do it, doesn't he? Okay, let's grab that. I think it might have to be some sort of, uh, This is tall enough. Do you want to sit on top of it? Nope. Ah, uh, come on. Give me a table that you want to sit on. I saw green for a second. Did see green for a second. Come on. Ah. Okay, so that table is a bust. is a steel one, okay? Let's move it here. Huh? Again, he it's for a split second. Split. Ah. ah, you're pissing me off.
Okay, well, you know what? I guess you don't want to be on any table. Is there anything that you would want to sit on? them side by side here okay that'll work I guess I need to put a water fountain in here so that I could get a drinky drink, a drinky poo. There. Good enough. It's at eye level, but <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, it's one o'clock, almost going on two. Okay, so we have. all of this secured okay so um, let me bring in everything so if I'm stuck here I'm not um, stuck here doing nothing you know let's uh, them up and move them in. Gotta keep my eyes open uh, at all times just in case stalkers decide to stalk me. Um, can I not have this inside? put it here where we have uh, protection um, I think that is everything well,
so we have everything inside here and uh, we are we need to figure out a way to make it uh, more secure So, um, I think, I think we're going to head back to Sanctuary, and it's like three o'clock, so, close the doors, make sure the doors stay closed so they can't, nobody can get in and grab the damage my machine guns um let's see um hunters are stalking me okay Where are they? I'm gonna be a little bold here. I'm gonna break out the um, the Rick Grime Python and I'm gonna shoot it. They're hunting me. Okay, so oh, I think I see him. Oh, Did he run away? Okay. Bring it on, fellas. Got twins. Hunters are no longer a threat. Got ultra rat away. Where'd he go? There was like three or four of them, wasn't there? Come on, you. 
Come in with me, buddy. You are under arrest. For disturbing the peace. The peace of sanctuary. Dun, dun, dun. Bring over here with your friends, and then I am going to fix that haircut of yours. I thought there was four. I'm, I not get them all. Okay, well, at least, um, you know, they are wearing, they don't look like ferals. Um, is that it? I thought, I would have swore there was four. I didn't shoot one so hard he fell over the edge, did he? Nope. Alrighty now. Um, I'm kind of thinking about putting a gate right here. And, um, you know, kind of blocking all of this off. But... Maybe I'll do that off camera. These foggy days. You are tired from lack of sleep. Plus you have insomnia. Yeah, I'm still, I still have insomnia. Okay. So I need to eat and I need to sleep. Let's go ahead and take care of the eating part. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and... What time is it? It's barely going to be five. I mean... Living on the frontier. <laughs> Okay, so 12 hours would be about uh, 5 a.m. So let's move it up to 6 a.m. And I am still tired. Let's go ahead and dump everything we have. Um, I kind of want to teleport into the into the institute. And 
and see um, if there are any of the zombie synth. We haven't seen anything yet, Annie. And I am only assuming that they will be, you know, if the mod's working, they'll be in the Institute part. So we dropped the save. Um, let's see how much ammo we have for everything. Uh, we have 30 sh shotgun shells. We have 50 python. Uh, 50 python. We have some poison caltrops. A couple poison grenades. The molotovs. A machete if it goes to hand to hand. Uh, we have a blow everything scorch earth grenade. Some frag mines. Um, a couple other grenades and a crossbow. Um, let's let's see what we could do with this shotgun right now. Combat shotgun. Can we um, put a bigger magazine on it? We could put a drum. Okay, let's put a drum on it. Um, some sights. Um, no, I don't want to put any. Maybe a reflex dot. I want to put a scope on a shotgun. That's ridiculous. Um,. Yeah, let's put a flex, a flex sight, so we can aim down sight better. Um, I don't have enough adhesive to make it a full stock. Um, it's already got a short barrel, so I can't do anything with that. And I don't have enough oil to increase the forcefulness of it. Hair trigger, powerful receiver. I could put a power receiver if I had adhesive and oil. I think I might be able to make both of those. Okay. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. Um let's craft. Let's go into utilities. Okay. I can make some oil using acid, bone, purified water, and steel, or using bone, fat. So let's go with the fat, because I, I don't know what else we could use it for. So let's go ahead and make um, two. That should be enough. And we make glue here. Go to adhesive. Vegetable shard. Okay, so I'm short three corn and two nude fruit. And I have everything else. Okay. So let me pick some corn and some nude fruit. One, be growing well. Two. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready three. to Three. And some. One. 
two. Don't tell me I don't have any more mute fruit. Three. Okay. Let's make some cornstarch. That is why farming is so important. It makes items that you're going to need to improve your weapons. <laughs> um, let's go to the shotgun. Let's go to the receiver. Okay, so the ha we can make harden. No, let's make the powerful. So this is 75. And do anything stronger. No, because we don't have gun nut three and we don't have enough gears. Hard and automatic, that would be nice. Now let's go with the powerful. So I'll make it 75. Okay. All right, so let's um, throw down a save. Okay, uh, let's eat something because showing that I'm hungry. Um, let's go with the pressed. I want to take more ammo because I got a feeling there's going to be a bunch of them. So let's make as much 10 millimeters we can. We need more primer. Uh, primer and cases. We only have 25 cases. Okay, so case. Gives me 50. And that gives me 25. What the heck? So 75 more rounds. That's fine. Um, and primer. I need primer. So that's 50 primer. And that should be 100. So let's I'll process lead. I'll say let's make as many as we can. 25. Process lead. Give me 500. Ah, gunpowder process lead. I can make more three three eighty as well. Okay, so how many do I have? Gonna drop this junk, drop these mods. So I have 135, 308, I have 50, 35, 38s. Almost 250 uh, 10 millimeter, uh, some electric bolts, and about 31 shotgun shells. Let me try and make some more shotgun shells. 
What do I need for shotgun shells? Everything. So I need gunpowder, uh, cases, and processed lead. Okay, so let's do cases. That gives me 50, okay. Um, components, I need components. Gunpowder, I need, that gives me 500. I'm gonna make another one. Process lead. That also gives me 500, let's make another one. Okay. No, cancel. Let's go ahead and make some chocolate shells. Gives me 25. Um, primer and processed lead. I thought I made a bunch of it, but I guess it uses up a lot. Primer, one more. Processed lead. Okay. Let's go ahead and transfer all of our junk. Um, move over anything we don't need. I highly doubt that there's going to be any, uh, any type of uh, vendors. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the fashionable stuff um, anything that caught that weighs we're gonna dump we need a screwdriver to lock pick Okay, um, move those over. One twenty-five. What? What more can we drop? Um, want to keep the crossbow because it's a silent killer. Keep the machete in case it gets, in case it gets too spicy. Um, let's go ahead and move the poison cow drops over because it didn't seem to work as well as I thought they would. And they weigh half a pound each, so. Um... So we got the shotgun, the scout rifle the day-to-day -day and the shoot everything ask questions later and the silent killer i think i think that's it i think we got where we have dropped as much weight as we can um Well, these ribeyes, I think we're going to eat right while we're in the middle of combat. I don't think we will be. Let's drop some of the waters. What is this Mingtat's backassery? Vax Omega Cell? I don't know what that is. Uh, let's move these Nukem. keep that one because this gives us 200 uh, HP that's good um bubble gum let's 
let's move over a couple of the antibiotics since anything else I don't think there's anything else we have that um, we could go without okay we are down as far as we could get okay let's close the door Let's close this door. Uh, let's drop a save. And um, let's squat down. We're going to jump into the Institute. Okay, hold your breath, girls and boys. I thought this took me to, um, I thought this one took me to the, uh, oh, there's somebody here. I thought this was going to be a safe, a safe room to come to. Still, like, uh, somebody. Can I close this hatch? Military grade duct, duct tape. Okay. X324 validation, X657 validation. Okay. So we may have 
some sense out there. Okay, got some addictal. Gonna have to, um, gonna have to pull up this. What does that take me? I don't know where this takes me. I hear them down there. Okay, you don't know I was kind of aware, but I am unfamiliar with this area. I don't like this place and I am going to do I have any frag mines there we go just gonna go ahead and leave you guys a little parting gift in case you decide to follow no safe spot I got a feeling there's somebody down this this thing here and I have no way of closing it
So. Alright, so let's um go down into the institute. The institute proper. Okay. Ah, uh, my heart is racing right now. Ooh, an institute jumper. What does that do for you? Gives you agility. Okay, let's take it. Shit, where I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Alright. You guys wanna play nasty? Let's go ahead and where's our scorch earth? Here it is. Oh, I guess the, the blast radius in that is uh, fairly large. Okay. Okay, well, we are coming up on the two minute mark. Um, next time we're gonna try again and uh, clear out the Institute and see if we can't, um, if there's anything worth saving in there, um, maybe there are, uh, Sims Institute people that need to be rescued. I don't know. I don't know if they're all zombies. So we will try that again next time. I have been, I am Guy, this is Generation X Gaming, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you're looking forward to the next episode. Uh, please remember to um, like, subscribe, and share, and also leave a comment, and uh, we will um, see you again next time next time in the commonwealth of decay thank you and goodbye